Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we're out in Flower Mound, Texas, working on a full Klipsch 8.2 outdoor landscape speaker system. Stay tuned after the intro. All right, so Charles is uh, working right now to uh, start the digging process and separating the ground with uh, the hoe there. So we've got speakers laid out with where we're gonna, roughly where we're gonna put them. We've got the uh, uh, Pro 650 TLS right here, all the stakes and everything on there. We've got one, two, and three. Uh, we've got six along the back here. So you got one, um, two. They're kind of hard to see because they're brown and they blend in real nicely. But they're all the way across here. Uh, we've got one of the subwoofer stage right there, another one right there, and then there's more speakers along here. So right now we're going to start uh, digging and uh, get all the lines run. All right, so a quick status update. Uh, we've got one of the uh, 650Ts uh, already in and wired right there. This is just going to be a, a wire right in there to the inside. Uh, there's a cabinet right on the other side of the wall here. Uh, we have all of the cables already uh, fed through the conduit here. Uh, this is placement for the speakers. All right, so we've got the uh, cables here uh, coming out. We've got cables split off going um, over to where Charles is, digging the hole for the subwoofer right now. Uh, we have the uh, AW650s already wired in and mounted. There is one right here and another one right here. Uh, we have Ethernet cables run for the uh, TV, this will be here. Um, so we're going to put a junction box here, uh, or a gang box rather, and go through for the uh, TV there so that uh, they can do what we're gonna do here for um, finish this out. Next up is, like I said, Charles is, Charles is uh, digging the hole um, for the subwoofer. Already got these speakers, mostly placed where we're gonna have them. Cable's already here, so we're gonna start trenching that cable all the way along as well. All right, so we've got uh, the subwoofer already installed over here. We've got another speaker right there, one here, uh, one here. All of it is buried uh, up until this point here. Working on uh, trenching the cable here. Charles is, let me go and zoom out. Charles is uh, digging the hole for the uh, other subwoofer we've got right there. So we're gonna place it right here so it's nice and uh, evenly spaced on either side of the pool here in between um, all the speakers. Once we get this, uh, of course, we're doing it to clip your specifications. Uh, the hole needs to be 10 inches deep, 14 inches wide, so we're working on that. Of course, we uh, put a tarp down so that uh, we don't uh, get dirt and mud all over the new lawn here, so we can uh, manage all of the uh, all of the mud. So uh, that's where we're at now. We're gonna keep trenching and digging. All right, so we got a status update. We've got all the speakers uh, ready to go here, so that all the cables trenched uh, here. Um, and we've got all the way over here as well. All the way around, all the speakers are in. They've got company over already, so pardon the background noise. Uh, so this is a speaker here, right here. So there's a two zones here. So we've got a uh, one speaker there and one here. This is gonna be a separate Sonos amp. So they've got a zone for the fire pit. The speakers all along here with the two subwoofers are going to be um, one zone along with the um, along with the speakers on this side, and then the uh, cabana is its own zone again with a Sonos amp. All right, so we've got all the manuals and everything collected here, um, and everything in the uh, the box here, and extra accessories and things like that. You can see we've got the watt box. This is the 400 CE10, as you can see right there on the box. There's actually a 10 outlet power conditioner. Really nice form factor, as you can see. Um, and he still has uh, four extra outlets here. So we've got the um, Unify switch that he has here. We ran cable up and over and down into the other cabinet where his uh, existing network was dropped so we can connect off of there. So you can see we have our service loop here um, for all of the cables. There's uh, some extra cable that goes out and comes in uh, through the wall right over here. Um, We've got all that sealed up uh, with conduit and everything outside. Uh, we have the KDA 1000 amplifier. It's a thousand watt amplifier. Um, there's uh, 250 watts a channel, four channels. Uh, we actually have a bridge. So there's 500 watts going to all of the landscape speakers and they're in the 50 watt tap setting. And then we have 500 watts going to the two subs. So there's essentially 250 watts to the subs. 
Um, so, and they're rated at 200 watts each. So we have uh, 50 watts of headroom there. So we've got the 20% uh, header. And then we've got the, um, you know, they always uh, want you to have 20 to 30% headroom. So we've got uh, that allowed there. Uh, we've got the Sonos amp here. Let's get a little closer so you can see. Uh, we've got the Sonos amp for the fire pit, Sonos amp for the cabana, and then the Sonos port for the landscape speakers that is going into the KDA 1000. Of course, everything is labeled just like that. Um, we've got temperature controller here. Uh, so once this closes, all the amplifiers are going. Uh, that is going to get hot. Uh, we've got an AC Infinity uh, set up right here where you can see. So that'll actually have fans that'll vent out uh, into the walls there or into the, uh, the, the cavity so that uh, we are sealed there. Um, we're covered there for any heat. And then like we said, on the other side uh, is the receiver and everything else for their surround sound in here. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. What we've done here, as you've seen in the in just in the uh, the demo there, we've got a 10.2 system of just landscape speakers um, up here under the cabana. We have another zone with a Sonos amp of the AW650s. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around. Over here, uh, we have another set of speakers. That's another zone of the Pro 650 TLS, the landscape speakers, with another Sonos amp. So out here, uh, we've all the way across here, we've got one, two with a subwoofer. We've got three, four, and another subwoofer, and then five right behind uh, the flowers there. And then over here, we've got one, two, and three. So coming, obviously, uh, the kitchen is still being put together out here, uh, but they're going to have a uh, seating zone over here. Over here is going to be another zone. Let me go ahead and zoom out so you can see. So they're going to have... Uh, seating and tables all the way around two different areas here that's why we've got the speakers uh placed out here it's all one zone uh, we've got two 10 inch subs those are the pro uh 10 l uh s pro 10 swls that's the uh, 10 inch in-ground subwoofers which you saw there go and zoom in a little bit uh, you can see it right there uh it's just the mushroom top right there and the other one is behind this uh, rose bush over here all right guys thanks for tuning in if you're interested in a system like this and you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, please give us a call. Uh, we are direct authorized dealers for Klipsch and Sonos and all these other products that you've seen in our videos here. So uh, we can come out, take a look, see what will work best for your, your system and what you're wanting to do in your budget. And uh, we do full design services as well. We've worked with the contractor along the way uh, to have the conduits and everything uh, done where we need them to go. And that way we uh, were able to get speaker cable underneath all of the concrete and everything that you see here in all the tile. So if you're interested in a system like this, please call us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to getting the next video out. Please consider subscribing if you like videos like this. Click that bell icon and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks, guys.
Thank you.